That's a pretty rewarding thing, just to see something that's not just tossed away, that had some value, even if it was a low value instrument, it still has value again, right? Hi, I'm Peter Allen Sachin. I'm the co-owner of Sachin Guitars here in Regina, and I'm the head repairman and builder and part-time salesperson. Well, I started a long time ago when I was quite young. I was still in high school, and um, I was playing in a jug band with some friends of mine from, uh, from high school. And I've uh, always kind of been interested in instruments for some reason. I don't know why. It, just the mechanical part of the instrument, not really playing an instrument. So um, I remember repairing or kind of customizing a little guitar for the jug band, made it into a what's called a dobro guitar, and uh, kind of got the bug then, I think. What's unique about it is every day is actually different. Like um, when you're a builder, you have projects to, you know, if, you know, you start a guitar or a mandolin build and you go through all the processes and, and you end up with an instrument. So there's always this anticipation, anticipation of what the instrument's going to sound like, what it's going to play like. So initially when you first start, those are the things that really catch you. Like, oh boy, I can make a guitar and I wonder what it's going to see, sound like when I'm done, right? On the repair side, it's the same thing. Every repair is a little bit different, no matter if it's the same old thing over and over again. Each guitar is unique, so every repair is unique. Yeah, I have some signature guitars that I build. Um, uh, I guess the most famous one would be the Colin James model that I built. The story, a lot of people know the story, but Colin was a phenomenal kid and he had a phenomenal career at <laughs> age 12 or 13. He's already starting his career. But his parents came to me and had me make him a guitar when he was 13 years old, right? We kind of joke about it now, like he said, oh yeah, they're, they were kind of crazy to, you know, go make a, get a handmade guitar for a 13 year old. And I said, well, you, they were kind of crazy coming to a 23 year old guitar maker to get it made, right? Like it was sort of like the, this thing, like I wasn't that old either. And then a great friend of mine and a, one of probably the world's, one of the world's best guitar players, Bob Evans, I built a guitar for him a number of years ago and he, he's played that. Uh, the rest of his career and um, that's a real famous kind of connection there because he's he's one heck of a guitar player. Lately there's been all these uh, young upstart musicians from around here that are our customers, be, have become really good friends, you know the Dead South guys, got his guitar on the bench. Um, they're great kids, you know, they're, they're a lot younger than we are and uh, but they treat you really well and it's really a pleasure to, to do stuff for them you know and see their careers kind of take off and then there's all the repairs that you do over the years for semi and you know famous and you know but this is not sort of what you do it for you know like i don't mind make, making a, a guitar for just anybody as long as they kind of want a nice guitar you know mm -hmm. 